Hey, Scorpios Builder Blog. So, it's, it's a- It's spa day for Scorpios. <laughs> We're, we're out here with all the important tools to make Scorpios pretty and show worthy. All the important tools. <laughs> and we're getting ready to take them to a party. We're actually, we've been hired today by one of the BattleBots judges, Derek Young. And uh, we're going to bring Scorpios out to have a little play date with Complete Controller. Uh-oh. Yeah, I, you know, hopefully the children won't fight. <laughs> but or hopefully maybe, the party kids will get to Derek fight robots. Maybe will have a present for us. Oh! Step one of taking your robot somewhere is getting it loaded into the car. It looks like it's had some hard times. It has. Okay. I'm getting that. Hey, I'm Derek Young. I am a uh, judge for BattleBots and before I was a judge, I was a competitor, and this is my robot, Complete Control. Ah, so, Derek, do you ever miss it? Uh, which part? Driving, competing. I miss driving. Uh, definitely, like, there's moments in the season when I'm watching somebody getting, like, you know, doing the whole startup, pressing the button, where I'm like, I remember that feeling, and that part I miss, you know, just like, it's just such an adrenaline rush. But um, the building and repairing, <laughs> and uh, the effort is, yeah, that, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm much more comfortable not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you said wall this thing's down. Um, where do you normally keep this robot? It, it lives against that wall. It this wall? Those ratchet straps. Yeah. Oh. Down today for the, uh, for the, uh, Oh, just like the Bronco boys. Yeah. They hang their robots. Yeah, like, I don't, I live in San Francisco. I don't have space to just <laughs> keep it around, so. And there's also the bonus, uh, original Comedy Central era complete control over here. What? On this wall. Oh my God. So this is, uh, complete control version four, um, from season five of BattleBots. Um, uh, full titanium build, um, and was wrecked by wow. Christian Kralberg's knee breaker at Steel Conflict Look at in that 2002. Weird. And this, the coolest feature of this is actually a weapon that was um, brought into the uh, battle box, but unfortunately, there's a sad story why it wasn't used, but my friend Danny designed this thing. And what it is, is it's a chisel in a detented holder. And so the idea was that you would grab the other robot um, and then as you're carting them around the arena, you would take them over to the pulverizers and the pulverizers would pound a <laughs> spike into them. <laughs> and then you would extract the gripper and then they would have this sticking out of the top of them. So even if they were invertible, when you flip them over, they'd be high centered on the spike. Very high concept. So unfortunately this was never used in combat, but um, I think it's still a very cool concept. Uh, uh would you mind if I borrow this idea for Scorpios? Because as a judge, do you ever like fear for your life since you're like the closest person to the battle box? Yes. Yeah. It's, um, I've had moments where I've just been like, why am I doing this? Like, this doesn't seem safe. Um, you know, of course the organizers, Trey and Greg are, you know, they're, they're sitting there just as close. Trey does the most dangerous stuff of anyone in the battle box by getting in there when the robots are on fire. Um, so I trust that they at least have a concept of, you know, how strong things are. Um, there's certain robots that worry me the most. Um, Valkyrie is one of those because it gets up on its wheels and the disc is now giant vertical thin. It would take just, you know, one flip and it could be into the glass like right in front of my face. Um, we had a moment in season five, I don't remember who it was, but the box got hit so hard that our like COVID shields between Lisa and I got thrown I don't know, 10 feet behind us and broke on the ground. So like there's real force transfer going on through it. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it can get really intense. And I, I swear I pulled a muscle wincing before. I've been like, winced so hard. I was like, oh, I'm not pretty big. Okay, so you've won a giant nut. I have. This is from BattleBots Long Beach. Nine. Um, this is the mega, they call it Megabots. And that was the middleweight class. For some reason, I think that there was probably some Robot Wars versus BattleBots on the class naming. So they called it Megabot. They were trying to do like the metric system. So it was the Kilobot, the Megabot, the Gigabot. Um, yeah, and I won with my robot Son of Smashy. Uh, I defeated Grant Amahara. I defeated Christian Carver. Uh, I think I went five and zero. Oh. Uh, amazing, and it was incredible. Mostly incredibly lucky because everyone's robots were pretty bad. But um, yeah, Hammerbot did the job. Woo! Winning the giant nut.
That's and incredible. And then this one, this is another. Wait, you have a whole trophy shelf of giant nuts? Well, I've got, okay, I have, I have missized nuts. <laughs> this one is from the uh, middleweight runner up from season four. They used to give out constellation prizes. So this was hazard versus complete control. I, this one. I remember this watching classic, that classic match. Battle. Yeah. So uh, yeah, when we're playing uh, BattleBots Hex Bugs, my my um, five year old likes to get the the little nut out and award it to the winner of the fight. So it's 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 it comes in use. <laughs> that, can you just picture that? I can picture that. That's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> and congratulations to Good Vibrations 1996. Uh, or sorry, that is 1966. You won the Orby Blade and Scorpio's Poker Chips. So do you ever think you're gonna put your judges pen and pencil down and come back to the ring? I guess there's a possibility. Um, I've thought of different ways of doing it, uh, like a new version of this robot. And, you know, I think there's a lot of room for improvement. Um, I think that the, you know, I like to see when other people have grab and lift robots at the event. Um, and I think they do have the capability of doing pretty well, but uh, I don't know if it's going to be. And uh, right now, I'm I'm enjoying my my current role on the show. It's certainly a lot easier, and I still get to experience the whole event and you know get to take part in a slightly different way. So it's super fun. I'm so so feel so fortunate to uh, get the opportunity to do what I do. So I've seen a theory online. After you did your big present stunt, I saw someone go, of course they made Derek a judge, because clearly he was the only person who read the rule book. Okay. But it, did that have any bearing on you getting picked as a judge? I doubt it. Uh, it po possibly it led to me being, I guess, a higher profile competitor, which probably helped because there's some name recognition. Um, I don't think there's any real correlation between that, uh, because... The one thing people don't know is that, yes, I read the rule book about that particular section, but what I didn't read was the part where you have to tell them everything you're going to do, which I neglected to do, which is really the reason why the fight was basically like, no, you can't win that way. And uh, we had to do the rematch. So I was a little tiny kid watching this man on BattleBots, the original bad boy of robots here, with his robots pressure drop and complete control. And I'm so excited to actually get a chance because you became a judge before I ever got to fight you in the arena. And I was so sad three original BattleBot contenders all became judges at once. But I'm going to get my missed opportunity today. And I get the pleasure of fighting you with a pincher lifter robot. And it even walks like your old pressure drop bot. <laughs> I'm excited about this. This is very cool. All right, are you ready for this? Ready to be back on the sticks? I am. All right. I've got Gearhead. We've got two minutes on the clock. Here we go. Three, two, one. Fight, robots, fight! Oh, oh, oh God. That's not going well. All right, maybe through the side, through the side. That's not to the side. Oh, no. <laughs> got out, got out, got out. Can I get a lift? Lift, you're at the legs, lift. No. Oh, okay. Oh, the top so happy dance. Come on, gearhead. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ah, back on my wheels. Yay. The back from the back no no ah. you're so big one minute left all right maybe under the fork under the fork fight oh oh no no yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. get off the plate get off the plate oh no oh god He's right here. He's right here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Victory! Yeah.
you. <laughs> womp womp. Should have picked Scorpion. <laughs> Good game, man. Good game. Now we move big, stupid, heavy robots. Yeah. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Low drama. There, it worked. Nobody got hurt this time.